I'm spending 24 hours on this jetty with no food at all. I've already spent 24 hours on Palm Cove Jetty where we caught that monster shark. And I've spent another 24 hours at Cardwell Jetty where there was Trevally everywhere. And now it's time for me to spend 24 hours on Lucinda Jetty. And if you didn't know this, it's the longest jetty in the Southern Hemisphere. And everyone's telling me to go to this jetty because apparently there's barramundi everywhere. So how could I say no? All right, fellas, welcome back to another episode. We're at Lucinda Jetty today. I've got my rod with the vibe. Last time I came to Lucinda with the boat, we caught massive GTs and Golden Trevally, so I'm very excited. And I do know that they catch barramundi off this jetty, but apparently the barramundi love the live bait. So I've got the cast net today. If I see live baits while I'm flicking with this vibe, I'll throw the cast net in, get some live baits, um, and throw a live bait out there and just hope that we catch something big. The last time I did this challenge, we always catch our food at night. Well, hopefully I can, I can catch something that I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we're trying to catch three different fish and I've got help today with me on this pier. I'll show you who that is a bit later on anyway. We're gonna use this vibe, start off with the please vibe. Ow, 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 ow. Catch me some fish. I'm worried about this rain cloud, man, I'm telling you. We've got Adam from the last episode. What's up, guys? This is what the man that? that caught the, um, as you know, the shark. And we've got his partner, Emma. We've got some help, so hopefully we catch some fish and it doesn't look too good there, does it? Yeah? Look at that rain. Look over behind us, though. It's like perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at those mountains and all that. And then as soon as we turn, just put this wet weather jacket on. That's, that's it there, that one little thing, see? Boom. Nice grunt, huh? Put down the comment section if grunters are good to eat. I don't know. I think we're gonna need some live bait. Everyone's saying to me that every, um, the fish like to hang around the pylon, so see if we can get our lures close as we can to those pylons. Adam's gonna have the first shot throwing the cast net. Well, it's actually his cast net. We're gonna see if we get anything on the first shot. Wow, ah, what a throw, man. Fuck, how much it spreads. <laughs> high tide now. What's the tides? The tides are big, aren't it's they? It's a 3.3 3 high, and then it goes down to a 1.3. Okay. Not a single fish. I got a bit of intel. One of these boys up here, the old man just went to the car and he's like, I gotta get my bigger rod. I said, what? I said, why? What happened? He goes, I just got busted off by something really big. So probably a shark or something. We don't know yet, but we'll see what happens. Eh? We're still gonna get my cast net out now and just work live baits until we can get a couple. But I reckon we'll wait till low tide and then walk a little bit on the beach and try to get some, we'll see. How'd you go? I reckon the best bet is to wait until low tide, you reckon, and go for a walk? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Brother. Ah, you're letting it stick straight down to the bottom. Look at them all. Where's the bucket? I'm gonna get the live. Right hey, look, we're good to go, boys. <laughs> we are set. <laughs> I'm gonna throw mine in. Like, sink it till it goes tight off your wrist and then just let it like all close and then pull it up. <laughs> Not one, man. What? Oh, they're all dying. We need the aerator, yeah? Oh. yeah. I reckon the aerator will bring them back. Jeez, look how many there are in here, man. So many. Look at this. Adam doesn't muck around. Look what he's getting ready. So, we got the pen rod and reel. Like last same, time. same one, we got the tiger shark on. Show us the setup. 100 pound line, and then we're just doing 80 pound wire trays with a uh, 8 0 hook with a floater. Have you ever heard of when your hook's rusty, you don't catch much fish? Or is that just, well, we'll put that theory to test today. And then when we're done with that one, we're gonna get the shark rig out. Gonna use that, that, and that. Float that out on a balloon again, and see if we can get a big shark. But I'm actually hungry already, eh? I'm hungry too. <laughs> put down the comment section. Do they catch squid from here, this jetty? We bought the squid jigs as well. <sighs> Not one, man. Adam got a baby squid. Holy shit, he's a turbo. Look how small he is. Let's let him go. What? Oh, I got a live bait, bro. I didn't even jerry. Yeah, I didn't even know. Quick, put him in the air. Yeah, put him in the air rider. <laughs> <laughs> got a queenie, man. Off the mark. You can see the spikes how they go out the oh, side. Oh, look at that. Yeah. What's that spike? They're, they're, they're their top spikes. They're sharp. I never knew hurt. that, bro. And their bottom, too. Look, look at that. Fuck, should we let him go, you reckon? Yeah, I reckon let him go, because he'll, he'll spike you. Let him get big. Here we go. That's why when you throw your cast net in, you want to check it properly, yeah? Adam again. This cast, look at him all. Fire, bro. Look, I'm going to try to get some, man. 
Look at him. Shall we? Look at him. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'm fucked. I need to lay down for 20 minutes. All right, we're at least we've got enough dead bait. All right, so we're going to put it through the back of the tail. Look at that. Please run, catch us a fish. Put down in the comment section, when live baiting, do you have your drag set tight or do you have it loose? So at this stage, after my live bait was out, I wanted to start off at the start of the pier, use a vibe and really cast in between all the pillars. That's where everyone was saying that the fish hang around. So that's what I did. Holy shit. Wow, you got size? Nah, they gotta be like. Um, Look at this. Adam, man. You're killing it with this cast net. Keep him in the bucket until we find out how big they're gonna be. Put down in the comment section, is it a spotted one or a silver one? Grunter. See you, mate. Yeah, gone. Uh, we're gonna check this bait now. It's been out for about, what, an hour or something, so. Still alive, still kicking. Nothing touched my live bait at all, so I wanted to try and get it underneath the jetty, but the current kept taking it out. So what I did is, while the current was so strong, I wanted to use that into my advantage and really work that rest of the pier. So started walking around cast after cast after cast. I did see fish come up and down, but they look like bait fish. Nothing was really interested until I made my way to the end. Ooh. Gotta be careful, I've just thrown this vibe straight in between those pillars under. If something goes, I gotta lock the drag and just bring it in as quick as I can. Oh, what's that? I did finally make it to the end of the jetty, nothing, not even a hit, and I was there for over an hour and a half working the lures. Update, it's 11 o'clock, no fish yet. I seen a couple of fish jumping at the end, so live bait is still on that, and it's actually swimming, which is a good sign. Well, it's not a good sign. We want that fish in another fish's mouth down its throat and on this pier with a meter, a meter barramundi. This is the situation at the moment. Adam's got the balloon out. We don't have a big enough bait, so. Nice sight, nice choice of balloon, bro. Yeah, I know. And the balloon. <laughs> so we'll let this sit here. If we hear this thing go. We're on. Hopefully. That's why I reckon the fish are slow too, because of the current. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Is this going to stop? What's going on? Yeah, as soon as the tide changes. At what time was it? 2 30. Tide changes. Oh, look at it now. It's 11 11. Make a wish. Please, God, make us catch fish. All right, pretty much at that time of the day now. We're getting the old hand line out. The old hand line rig ready. It's got to be. So since I couldn't get my live bait on the rod to stay under the jetty, I said, why not put it on the hand line, go on those stairs and throw my hand line underneath the jetty where the ramp is. I tried to do that and it was just... Can't even just throw it, man. Down there, it's just ripping hard as. Look at it, where it is already. Put down in the comment section, is the current ripping like this because of wet season or this is just normal with a big tide? Drop to the bottom and then just rip it up as I'll fast do, as I'm going to do that. Drop, yeah. That's it, lad. And then, hold, and then hold on. Alright, so that bloke reckons he catches Spanish mackerel down here and he said use a metal laser lure sort of thing and just jig the hell out of this. So imagine I get a Spanish mackerel, man. Oh, would I be wrapped. I was just about to go have another spin with the rods and then I realized, mate, we've got over six rods with live bait and dead bait. What the hell is going on? No fish. Alright, we have a few more flicks. With this metal, we're gonna go under the under the pier now, have a few flicks and see if we can land the GT Spanish mackerel. Imagine that, Spanish mackerel. If you're from far north Queensland, you know sunscreen, water, and shade. After a while in the sun, you start feeling a little bit fucked. What is it? Come on, Emma. Yeah, I lose this motherfucker. Oh, it was right there! <laughs> What was it? it was right there. I don't know what it was. Oh. That was our meal. And it's smack on one o'clock in the yeah. afternoon, man. That was lunch. <sighs> Starting to get to that time now where I feel a bit flat. I'm hungry. My legs are getting sore now. And it's one o'clock. There's no one on this jetty, but this happens all the time around one in between like 12 and 2 o'clock there's no one here then all of a sudden around 3 34 it just packs and everyone just comes and rocks up and the fish rock up as well so oh good catch yeah i'm gonna check this live bait see if there's anything on there oh it's a good sign we seem to be getting bites now so we're gonna focus and try to get a fish 
I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything. Please God, let me catch a fish. Put down the comment section what scales you think these are. Adam reckons they're barramundi scales. Yeah. The big ones are, yeah. Because that's what they look like, a big thumbnail. That's what a barramundi scale looks like. That's the bit that goes into the skin, see how it's darker? Yeah. And then that's the bit that lays over. I wouldn't know, I've never caught one. Go, it's going, it's going, it's going! Emma, quick! Oh, 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 oh! What is it? Is it there? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what it is. Oh, what is that? What the hell? That's dinner! Oh, I can't remember what they call them, but... So we think that's what's cleaning us up. What are they called? Adam? Oh, I'm not sure what they're called. Put down the comment section if you know what they're called, but I, I reckon... around estuaries and flats and all that sort of stuff. They're like a pest. Oh, oh my god, look at them! Can they eagle rays? They'll just cruise in the current like a like a man race or like a filter feeder sort of thing. I'm gonna do something different. I've cut the head off, man. So uh, we'll try that, eh? See how we go. Oh, I'm getting hits on that rod. Take a run. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah, run. Oh, oh. I didn't want that rod in. Your one. Oh. Come on, what is it? Don't want to lose it. Oh no, trap it around your line, Adam. Oh, what's that? It's a gummy shark. Oh, it's a black tit. Mm. Do you want to eat it? Not what we want, but you know what? I don't know if we eat it or what. <laughs> oh, it stinks. Yeah. First one landed. Look at it hooking. Oh, look at that. All right. <laughs> look where he's hooked, man, right on the side. Look at that. You can't eat these, can you? No, you can eat them, but he's undersized. Did not want to get bitten by these, mate. Look at the teeth. Thank you, mate. It's all right. We're going to let you go. Ramora. Let's throw it back. Yeah, they got the sticky heads. See that? They like yeah. open and close like a suction cup. See you, mate. Pew. First shark off a jetty. They're coming on, boys. And you know what? It's the first fish today that someone's landed. And it's me. <laughs> exciting, exciting. All right, we don't know what this is, but Adam's on now. We're on the shark on. And he's not too big. Two yeah. sharks in the matter of like 10 minutes, two yeah. minutes, man. They're coming in with the tide, eh? Same one? Yep, same species. That's sick. Good signs, boys and girls, good signs. So one of the fellas are yelling out, they know we're at a live bait, and they're gonna give us some live baits, and he's just over there. Oh my god, they were mullet. No, this is, uh, they called mud herring. Oh my god, look at them all, man. Yep. Fuck, and I got, I got these bastards first, <laughs> then John Adori over here, and they can fuck me. That's what, that's what we were getting before. <laughs> hey, look, he's got a, he's got a, um... Yeah, lice. Yeah, yeah lice, that's it. Yeah, because usually the mud herring, they have that little dot on their back. Yeah. It depends where they're growing up. Are you fishing here, mate, or are you... You're a legend, um, mate. That's heaps, that's heaps. I'm going down here, mate. Yeah, okay. Thank yeah, you. This is Troy, mate of mine. Oh, yeah. He's going down. Nice to meet you, brother. Yeah, right. Mate, what a legend. He just gave us a whole bucket of live bait, man. Someone's on a big fish. What is it? Live bait? Nah, flesh. Clean fish, flesh. Keep an eye on those other rods. We're gonna get the shark, is it kicking? Nah, took off like a finger mark, sort of. Oh, Jesus. Here you go. How much line you got on that? I have fucking no idea. <laughs> so what's your name? Paul. Paul, it's happening Paul, I'm Luke anyway. Yeah, hey, right. Nice to meet you, mate. Me too, bro. We send the jetty, mate. Everyone helps each other out here. It's awesome. Did it hit it hard? Um, yeah. yeah when it took, first took it, I like oh. Dropped it. Shove your shark. Ah, well, it happens, mate. It's fishing. Let's see if he's lost everything. Yeah, he's totally going. I can feel it. Yeah, it lost everything. No, he's taking me. So I'm just here on the jetty and these two young fellas dropped me off two notes. To Luke Fowler, I love your videos. Hope you can catch a one meter barramundi from Kurt. You're a legend, Kurt. Thank you, brother. Hi, Luke Fowler, I love your videos from Cooper. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Even the boys down there gave us some live bait and everyone's so nice down at this center. We appreciate the love and support, man. Come on, are you going to catch me a fish? I'm a bit concerned. This is the first time ever on a video that this has actually happened. No fish at all being caught besides sharks. Getting a bit worried. The time is currently 4.30 right now. Put down in the comment section, have you had much luck on this jetty? Wait, priorities. <laughs> all right. Oh, I got him back. You can get the live. Oh, no, what's it? Oh, my goodness. Something on the bottom. I don't know what this is. Fuck. I don't know what to do here. Where is it? Where's the line? 
Yeah, how do you get a stingray off? How do you get it off? Get ready, throw it, bring your line in. Wait, let's try to get him up. We gotta get him up. Yeah, look, if you catch a big stingray, right, and they get stuck to the bottom, you just grab the fishing line and you flip it real hard, and it sends that vibration in the line, they don't like it. Try it again. And they'll, they'll, they'll start moving. So the line's running under this ladder, might be sitting here somewhere. Yeah, he must have pulled it around the pylon. Right. Well done, well done, brother. Feel good? Don't let it go under the pylons, bro. Ah, oh, I dropped it. You have to be quick with these pylons because they're just going under there, mate. Straight away, they know where to go. <laughs> Daddy Luke. Oh no, I can feel it's rubbing on a line somewhere. <laughs> Fucking shark, no it's not. Woo! Can we eat that or is that size? No, you can. Do you want to eat it? You can eat black tip. Yeah, the best Do they have size on them? Uh, black tip I'm not quite sure, eh? I know there's a max size, I'm just not sure about the minimum. Oh, oh my god, what is it? Oh, oh, yeah. Wow, oh, what a cranky yeah, it is! At this time of the day, it looked like a massive storm was rolling in. I was hoping that it wouldn't come through, but I was super tired and hungry, but I just wanted that fish that was going to save the day. Oh, I just had a hit. I just had a hit. Yeah, that's a grind. Yeah, oh, I pulled it out. I have no idea what that was. I just dropped it. We're going to put another live bait out, but it's, hap it's happening right now. Oh, fuck. Yeah? Yes. Here we go, Amazon. What is it? Please be a nice trevally for something else for something for us to eat, please. Oh, oh take a look, Adam! Big fish, bro, come here, help! Oh, no. Big fish! Go that way, keep going up, keep going up. Oh no! Oh, I'm so hungry! <laughs> These pylons. Here we go. Here we go. Go on, take it. He's on. Oh! Yes! He's not getting under the pylons. Be a trevally. Something we can eat, please. He's up on the surface. Trevally for sure. Cool enough. Frau hooked it. The shark. I just wrapped him. Look, hey, look at the hook. Oh, look, he's got hook, hook, hook. How many times has bastard been hooked? You can tell it's a male because that's its penis. The thing that hurts the most, I thought that was a fish because I hooked it in the tail and the tail was just flopping everywhere and I thought I could feel head shakes, but it's another shark, man. Oh, we are so hungry right now. So look at that. What a legend, he gave it to you. What a legend. Oh, look at that, that is. Oh, man, that's, that's the ultimate live bait right there. That Oh, a little trevally. Are they good for live bait? Yeah, fucking nice. That's right. That's a nice size. That's the under 1.5. Oh, oh! Grab it, grab it, grab it. This is gone! Grab it, boys, grab it! Oh! <laughs> That's it! Here we go. Whoa, what is it you reckon? Stingray dog. Doggy dog. Oh, that would have been a barrel for sure, man. So it's a bull shark. Yeah, yep, yep. Oh no! Show us the mouth, huh? Do they have any teeth? Put your finger on his mouth, Jake. Are you gonna let it go? Oh, oh you're an idiot, man. You're a fuck. Did you get bit? <laughs> I'm told you on the feet. Are you alright? Yeah. You're right? He's like, it's bigger. Don't throw it in these boys. You want it. I'm telling you, 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 it's nine o'clock and we're out of live bait. We've got no more live bait left. Adam just threw his cast net out and he's got some sardines or whatever they are. So hopefully we can use that. You got another squid? And he got another squid, so we'll check it out. Here we go. You just need that oh, squid. Can I pinch one livey off you, Adam? Yeah, yeah, grab the big one. Yeah. We start feeling a bit crazy this time of night. We need some food. 
What an absolute beaut. This is what's going to catch dinner, bro. I thought it was a mullet, bro. Old mate here, he's going to give us some live bait. Thank you so much, mate. You're a lifesaver. It's 12 o'clock at night. Adam is going to try and get some live ears. We've seen a lot of fish busting up at the, at the end of the jetty. And in this bucket, there should be a mullet in here somewhere. There is. Nice little mullet. Oh yeah, nice man. That's good live bait, isn't it? Yeah, that's better than no live bait. Okay. It's one there. Not gonna believe it, Adam's already on. We've only been here for like not even three minutes. Look at that man. That size? They're only gonna be 30, so I'd say you almost said I don't even bring my measure up. Grunter man, smashed that whole whole oh, um oh, yeah. Like that took straight, it was like your first drop. How long did it take? Yeah, it was my first drop. Like a minute. We come up the end of the pier and we heard all these barrow and bait fish everywhere. We said, fuck, let's try a pier. No one's tried here all night because it's been so windy. And what do you know? First drop, bang, it gets a grunter. I've never tried a grunter before. Put in the comment section if you like grunter. And then it starts raining. Yeah, it's 35. It's officially shitting down on us. We're going to let the fish go. We don't even know if it is. Put down the comment section because there's two types of grunters. This is... There's one that's 35 and one that's 40, yeah? And that's what it looks like. Yep. There he goes. 